Hello. Let's look at Randolph. We want to round off this number. A to the nearest tens, B to the nearest hundreds, and finally C to the nearest thousands. And what number are we using? We are using 634,215, right? So now, I know we have done something on Randolph before where I used a hill, you know? So now, if we are to Randolph, let's put this here to guide us. This is 5 up and this is 10 here. We we'll have six, seven, eight, and nine. And this is four, three, two, one, and zero is here. What does it show us? It's saying that we should round up this way. If it is five and above, you get it to 10. If it is five and below, you go down to zero. Now let's look at it. The first one says, to the nearest tens. To the nearest tens. This is unit. And this is tens. So look at what we are looking at. One, right? And what's the closest neighbor from this, the right? It is what? Five, which is the unit. So unit is the closest to tens. And you ask yourself, is this unit up to five or less than five? If it is up to five, what do we do? It goes down to ten, right? So we have plus one here. That means Let's do solution and bring it down here so you see what I mean. We have 6, 3, 4, 4, 2, 1, 5. And I have unit and tens here. So if, since this 5 is up to, the unit is up to 5, what do we do? We add 1 to this 1 because we are going down this way. So we add 1 to 1 here. So we are going to have plus 1, which will make it 2. So our final answer there is going to be to the nearest tens, we are going to have 634,220. We replace the 5 with 0. This one is 1 plus 1, making it 2. So it's going to be 220 to the nearest, to the nearest tens. That is the answer. 634,220 to the nearest tens. That is our A. Then B is going to be, we still bring down the initial as word there, which is 634,215 here. And we are doing it to the nearest hundred. When we level it, we have unit here, tens and hundred. You are seeing that hundred is two. And the closest neighbor from the right is one tens which is one right so you ask yourself is this one up to five or less than five it is less than five so we are replacing it with a zero here we replace it as a zero this one already we doesn't it doesn't have any business with us but it's still zero and since this two we did not add anything to it so it will remain as two this t the ten the neighbor did not have any effect on it so it's still going to remain as two so our answer is going to be 634200 to the nearest hundred. To the nearest hundred is going to be 634200 to the nearest hundred. And lastly, the C will have same number 634 215 to the nearest thousand to the nearest thousands and we have to level it first we have unit tens hundred and our thousand here right so and what's the closest neighbor as usual hundreds which is represented by two this two is it up to five it's not up to five so it's going down to zero if it was up to five it goes this way and add one but since it's not up to we are going to have 4 is still 4 because it did not affect it. The 2 was not up to. We replace it with 0. Replace the 1 with 0. And replace 5 with 0. So what is going to be our final answer? We're going to have 634000. Which is 634,000 to the nearest thousands. To the what? To the nearest thousands.
So this is what we are going to have as this A, B, and C. Hope you enjoyed the class. Now let's look at number two. Number two is 763,041. 763,041. Please, you're going to give me to the nearest tenth, that's A, nearest hundredth, and to the nearest thousand. Use the same format. I want to see the answer in the comments. I'll be in the comments waiting for you. Bye-bye.